15th experiment of 18 cs 44 that is demonstrate the use of external interrupter to toggle an led on or off so in our experiment we are using a led module we will connect the led module to the uh, yeah, yeah, like uh, LPC2148 uh, uh, ARM7 DDMA based kit uh, and and we will give the external interrupter when you give the external interrupter by means of a switch we will give the external interrupter when you give the external interrupter by means of a switch the LED model should uh, like uh, LED should glow, like LED should glow in the particular pattern or whatever maybe, or like all the LED can uh, you can make all the LED to glow, or you can make individual LED to glow, or you can make the LED to glow in the particular pattern, something like that. So, uh, when you give the signal through the switch, then that is called as an interrupt signal, like that switch is connected to the interrupt pin of LPC to 148. So when you give the signal to the uh, uh, microcontroller that is known as a uh, interrupt signal. So now first question is what is the interrupt? Uh, how it works? All these things we will see before moving to the coding section. This is the coding section. We will see very simple. Uh, we will see this one. But before that one we will uh, understand what is the interrupt. So uh, let me take you to the some diagram related to the theory yeah so now first one is a student interrupt is is a signal which draws the attention of a processor you know processor is a busy uh, electronic device in the computer so it cannot check all the device now and then so if device needs any service from the processor then processor has to draw the attention sorry uh, device has to draw the attention of the processor that time what processor will do is it will suspend its current execution and it will jump to that interrupt for example in this in the diagram you see this is, a, this is the simple example for the diagram here you see the processor is executing instruction 1, instruction 2, instruction 3, instruction 4. Suddenly it has received an interrupt. That time it has suspended all its task and it will jump to that interrupt and it will execute the particular service related to that interrupt. It will execute the particular service related to the interrupt. Once it completes that service, it will return back to the original place where it has stopped and it will continue the task. That's why interrupt the name suggests uh, the interrupt the microcontroller from whatever it is doing and draw the attention to perform a special task the following uh, this is the image for that one that is the related to interrupt now in uh, lpc 2148 we have something called as a vectored interrupt control we have something called as vectored interrupt control register now lpc 2148 uh, interrupts are called vectored interrupt what is the meaning of vectored interrupt and non vectored interrupt? Vectored interrupt means uh, it has got, uh, see, when the interrupt comes, uh, it will jump to the ISR. That address, address is known to the processor. The address of the interrupt service routine is known to the processor. That is called a vector. You know, according to physics uh, or mathematics, what we studied, vector is something like uh, which has got quant, like. Uh, direction and uh, quantity uh, this one quantity or something like that that is called the vector so here also when interrupt comes uh, that will come from certain source that is the id of that source is the uh, like quantity then as soon as interrupt comes it will jump to the particular uh, address that is the direction so that's why it is called a vectored interrupt means uh, as soon as interrupt comes uh, it will uh, it will go to the particular address your processor will uh, uh, go, go to the particular address in the memory and execute the routine. That is why it is called a vectored interrupt. Clear? So, in LPC 2148, uh, it has got vectored interrupt control register to control all these interrupts. Uh, and it can take up to 32 interrupts uh, request. It can, but normally it will take only 22 interrupts. So, the interrupts are classified here as a uh, like 
फास्ट इंटरप्ट रिक्वेस्ट वेक्टर्ड इंटरप्ट रिक्वेस्ट एंड नॉन वेक्टर्ड इंटरप्ट रिक्वेस्ट सो इन लाइक सिंपल टर्म आई कैन से देर आर थ्री कैटेगरी आई कैन से लाइक देर आर थ्री कैटेगरी लेट मी राइट इयर इन सिंपल टर्म लेट मी राइट इयर लाइक there are three category one is fast interrupt request fi2 second one is uh, we have something called as normal interrupt request irq in irq you have two category one is called as vector other one is called as non vector so you need to remember this much so we have two category of uh, like uh, interrupt one is called as fast interrupt request second one is a uh, normal interrupt request irq in irq you have two categories vector and non vector vector means uh, it will go to the particular address it will take you to the uh, processor will go to the particular address of the service routine non vector means uh, processor doesn't know like uh, uh, the address of that interrupt how to uh, you need to give the address of the interrupt service routine so that is the, uh, the thing and other than that here LPC two one four eight. The interrupts are programmable. Programmable means you can give the priority to the interrupt. You can automatically set the priority, or you can dynamically set the priority. That is the meaning of interrupt control routines are the programmable. Clear, students. Now we will go to the other slide. This slide says like FIQ has got highest priority. As I said, highest priority. That interrupt will be first one little be executed with priority, and uh, vectored IRK has got a medium priority, and non-vectored IRK has got a least priority. Try to remember this much. So next. So now I told you LP a vectored interrupt control register is 32 bit. We are not bothered about 32 bit because even though LPC 2148 can take 32 bit 32 interrupts. Uh, it can it it is designed for 32 interrupt it will take only 22 interrupt so we are bothered about uh, 22 bits so in that register you can see here 0 to 0 to 22 bits are there 22 bits are there so uh, these are the uh, bit number and these are the interrupt source for example uh, uh, wdt or dog timer then uh, this is the some uh, not applicable then some other interrupt uh, Timer zero interrupter, timer one interrupter, U R T zero interrupter, U R T one. We have studied what is U R T, U R T zero, U R T one, and all. You can connect uh, uh, device for serial communication. So all these are different source of the interrupter, and we have four external interrupts here. Four external interrupts. The name of that interrupts are E I N T zero, E I N T one, E I N T two, E I N T three. so all these four external interrupt through which you can connect the uh, device for external device all these are uh, like uh, uh, internal interrupts these are the external interrupts now in our example uh, in our example we will see external interrupt 1 there are four external interrupt we will see external interrupt 1 and what is the bit number of that external interrupt 1 the bit number of the external interrupt 1 in uh, Vector control uh, register is the fifteen. You need to remember fifteen is the bit number, and we are we we will enable this interrupt by enable means we will connect switch to this interrupt, and when you press the switch, then interrupt signal goes to the processor, and it will that time uh, that time it will uh, it will uh, like uh, that uh, glow that LED. It will glow that LED. So think like that. So this is the thing now. we will go to the next slide here student now before going to uh, next uh, this one i told you interrupt at has got particular routine that is called isr interrupt service routine in keel ide we can write the interrupt in two ways like here you see uh, here i i, I am not give, uh, give on the complete definition but you see there are two ways first one is uh, double underscore irq void user isr void that means double irq indicates it will tell the processor this is not a normal function this is a interrupt it will tell the processor this is not a normal function it is interrupt so 
there is, there will be isr like uh, for each interrupt there will be isr and there are different ways you can write the uh, this uh, isr but here if you use double underscore irq then it indicates uh, it tells the processor there is not normal function that is isr interrupt service routine and here return type and name of the isr you can give any name and uh, argument or parameter or and inside this bracket uh, the, this one co uh, code related to the, the that particular isr or uh, definition of the particular isr then here also other way is this one like this one here double underscore I, irq you have used uh, we have used this at, at the end here we have used at the beginning only that is a difference so in this two way you can define the isr please remember student in defining isr not in prototype declaration in defining isr you need to use uh, underscore irq that's the one thing next so uh, after defining isr you need to configure the interrupt you need to set up the interrupt in our example what we do is uh, we will consider interrupt one as i said you we will consider interrupt one uh, and Corresponding ISR will map to slot 0. Corresponding ISR will map to slot 0. Now you can ask what is a slot 0? What is a slot 1? So let me take you to that diagram first. Then we will continue this one. So One minute student, all of you please concentrate, yeah, this one. Uh, okay. So, in a vector control register, we have other, like, I told you it will take uh, uh, 22 interrupts, sir. But there are 16 slots are there. Slot 0, slot 1, slot 2, slot 16. Slot 0 has got highest priority. That interrupt will be executed uh, based on the priority. Highest priority. Slot 15 has got the lowest priority. So here different interrupt request you can map. Each slot has got uh, two register. Control register and address register. Control register and uh, address register. In address register you are going to give the address of the ISR. In address register, you are going to give address of the ISR. So, for example, here different interrupts you can see. You can map different interrupt based on uh, your uh, like uh, your interest. For example, if you want to give highest priority to timer zero, you assign to this one slot zero. If you are going to give uh, second priority to the SPIO device, you assign slot one. In our case, what we are doing is uh, we will going to assign uh, uh, the interrupt. Uh, uh, inter external interrupt 1 uh, to this slot 0. We are going to assign an external interrupt 1 to this slot 0 so that uh, it will uh, it will execute it with the highest priority. So when you assign external interrupt 1 uh, to the slot 0, you need to configure uh, two more register. One is called as uh, vector control 0 register and vector control uh, vector control address 0 register like that vector control 1 address 1 2 address 2 so many registers are there we are bothered about vector control 0 register and vector control address register this much you need to understand okay so now we will proceed so i will minimize this one now So, one minute, yeah, so you need to configure our uh, EINT01 interrupt, uh, external interrupt 1 to, uh, first you need to set up the interrupt, for that you need to configure external interrupt 1 to uh, slot 1. 1 to slot 1. So there are different uh, met, uh, way, way, I like uh, there are uh, uh, like set of process are there. First we need to enable the interrupt uh, 1. In our case 1 it is. Uh, 
in uh, vector interrupt enable register we have uh, one more register that is called a vector interrupt enable register then you have to allocate the slot uh, to that interrupt uh, by vector control register then you have to assign the address of the isr by using a vector address zero register zero why we are using because we are assigning that interrupt to slot zero you know slot zero has got highest priority we want to make our interrupt as highest priority clear yes now after that you have to do certain settings what is that settings settings is like like you need to select the mode mode and polarity i will come to that one mode and polarity and uh, you need to set the address and uh, control register and you need to enable it i will come to that one so now we will go to the code first we will see so here in this code we have some uh, like uh, I, uh, we have isr routine and uh, function is also there and uh, main function is also there so this is the main function this is the definition of our delay this is the main function of type int and this is the uh, interrupt init exit function like uh, you need to uh, i mean initialize that one interrupt for that i have written one function here then then service routine isr service routine so how will you come to know it is isr service routine you, uh, you see here let me let me zoom this one so how will you come to know this is isr so isr uh, when you see here in the uh, like uh, in, uh, definition you can see uh, it is uh, like uh, like ended with the double underscore irq as i told earlier so this indicates it is a like isr it is not a normal function clear so now we'll go to the first one by one so you need to connect a led module to frc1 frc1 and uh, then uh, you need to press the uh, like interrupt button switch that time it will send the interrupt signal to the processor and led will glow according to the function you have written so now we will see first uh, frc1 what is that frc1 so i will take you to that frc1 in lab manual so according to the, uh, the kit uh, what we are using so frc1 has got uh, 10 pins this is the first connector flat ribbon connector and here you see student we have switch here external int it is written here in our kit whatever kit we are using uh, in our lab in that kit it's written uh, this is the switch you need to press the switch here that time you are going to send the signal interrupt signal and other than that uh, you need to connect uh, uh, this one uh, led module to this frc1 so now we will see frc1 uh, connection what is there in frc1 so frc1 connection you see frc1 uh, port 0 16 to port 0 23 pins we are using 16 to 23 pins we are using for frc1 so you need to configure these pins also i will come to that one you need to configure these pins also clear i told you you need to configure this pin uh, port 0 to 16 to port 0 23 other than that uh, other than that uh, you need to configure you need to know about this switch also and we'll see now the diagram of lpc2148 so let me take you to the diagram of lpc2148 and we'll see where is that pin actual pin we'll see i will take you to the diagram of lpc2148 that is there in uh, back i think uh, yeah lpc2148 diagram see here you see uh, port 0 port 0 15 port 0 15 pin number you see port 0 15 pin number sorry port 0 14 pin number you see port 0 14 pin number sec uh, like uh, this is the this is the 
third alternatives. This is the general input output. This is the second function. This is the third function. What is that third function? E I N T one. That means you are going to use the external interrupt one. You are not going to use external interrupt zero or two. You can see here external interrupt two, and you can see external interrupt zero somewhere here only. So we are using uh, external interrupt one. That means you need to configure uh, port zero fourteen pin. Port zero fourteen pin. For that, I will take you to the pin select register here. So you need to configure student fourteen pin. So you see. Here, this is the fourteenth pin. This is the fourteenth pin. Port zero fourteen. You need to configure this pin. Means uh, you need to use port. Uh, sorry, pin select. Uh, pin select uh, zero register with the this pin. You have to configure. So this pin for this pin. Uh, these are the bits related, and you are using third function, not the first function. First function is zero zero. Second function means zero one. You need to use the third function one zero. So rest of the bits are zero, and all these bits are zero. That means uh, this one, this one is two, and all these are uh, zero. This is zero, and all these zero. That means pin select register is zero x two one two three uh, four five six seven eight. This value you need to configure in a pin select register zero. Should it understood right? Okay. So now. So let me delete delete this one. I will uh, take you to the code now. So as I explained, you have to connect this to FRC one uh, LED module to FRC one. Then I, I have included LPC one two one four X generic header file uh, for uh, LPC one two one four eight. That is a two one xx xx in the sense like uh, it will support uh, like uh, either two one three four two one four 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 eight whatever maybe. Then this is the protocol uh, uh, protocol uh, sorry this is the prototype uh, uh, for delay. This is and I have taken one uh, variable of type uh, unsigned int and I have sent this value. Now in uh, I uh, this one I have written the small ISR here interrupt service routine. nothing is there in this that actually there only three couple of uh, two, couple of lines uh, very simple i will come to the, that later first we will see initialization of this one initialization of a uh, interrupt uh, interrupt register so you need to uh, set up the interrupt for that uh, we need to do initialization in the initialization uh, pin select register uh, you have to enable uh, external interrupt one for that uh, you need to put this value then you need to set uh, mode and polarity See here it says the mode is edge sensitive, polarity is ri uh, rising edge. That means see when you give the interrupt, you are giving some type of a uh, pulse. The pulse is something like this, right? Pulse is something like this. So here it is the rising edge, it is the falling edge, and it is the level. So there are two types of mode: level says, uh, level mode and uh, or uh, edge sensitive mode. Edge sensitive mode or level mode. So this so if you take this one, uh, this is called edge sensitive mode. Means uh, So you are taking this point where uh, signal goes from low to zero. So for that uh, you need to uh, enter some value in this register, uh, 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 mode register, uh, uh, like uh, uh, ext mode register zero two. Now there are different values zero one, zero two, zero uh, like uh, they are based on the bit. You need to understand zero two. You have to load because you are taking edge sensitive. edge sensitive and you are taking rising edge not falling edge for a falling edge a different value is there some like 0x 01 some some different value so we are taking a rising edge and edge sensitive so this is the one thing you have to understand next uh, next one is uh, address you have to set what is address uh, address is nothing but uh, the uh, service routine address what is the service routine in your uh, service routine name Service routine name is here. Service routine name is uh, ext underscore interrupt. So that one you need to write here. Then you need to write uh, enable slot one, slot one to this uh, this interrupt. For that you need to write the control register. This value zero 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 two f. What is this zero 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 two f? Actually, it is two uh, zero 
टू जीरो प्लस एफ दैट इज बिकॉज टू जीरो इज टू जीरो इज द स्टार्टिंग एड्रेस ऑफ द वेक्टर टेबल एंड एफ इज समिंग लाइक फिफ्टीन फिफ्टीन बिकॉज यू नीड टू मैप लेट मी टेक यू टू दिस डायग्राम वंस अगेन यू नीड टू यर लेट मी टेक यू टू दिस डायग्राम सी यर फिफ्टीन पिन यू आर मैपिंग फिफ्टीन पिन यू आर मैपिंग राइट For interrupt, uh, external interrupt one. That's why you are adding 15 here. That means it will map 15th pin to slot zero. It will map 15th pin to slot zero. After that, uh, you need to enable the interrupt uh, in the register. So to enable the interrupt, you see, I am enabling a uh, 15th pin. See, this is here. It is zero, and this is the 15th pin. 15th pin is one, one zero zero. Zero 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 zero, zero 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 zero, zero 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 zero. Like this is the eight zero zero zero. I am enabling fifteenth pin. So that is the meaning here. So what and all you need to enable. First one is you need to enable the pin by using pin selector functionality. Then you need to select the like type of uh, like uh, whether edge sensitive or level sensitive. Then rising edge or falling edge. Something like that. Then you need to give the address of the interrupt. After that, uh, you need to say map it to the slot zero by giving uh, uh, this one uh, in the control register. You have to map that particular interrupt to slot zero by gi by giving these two values. Uh, one is in control register. One is uh, vector interrupt enable register. So that is the thing you need to understand here. Clear? Once this is over, once this is over, next. we have main function before main function uh, we will go to the in, uh, isr what is there in isr isr uh, see uh, when you call the isr it will come to the isr and it will execute it will execute the isr here it is simple statement uh, when it is executing the isr i am clear i, I have not written ma ma like uh, ma like major isr a small isr I, it will clear clear the so particular flag register telling interrupt is serviced particular flag register in this register flag it will clear the particular flag And after that, it will reset the address to zero 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 vector address to zero 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 zero. So that is the job of this, this ISR. When you call the ISR, it says like ISR is uh, like it it has serviced it it has serviced that in particular interrupt, and it will set that uh, particular flag and it will go to that it will uh, reset the address. So now what is there in the main program? Main program uh, what I did is uh, I have taken I O uh, set the direction F F here. Like from 16 pin to 23 pin, I I told you we are using FRC one connector. Here in FRC one connector, you are connecting a LED module. So all the pins I am making at output output because I want to pass the signal to the LED module. LED module should glow right for that. Then I will call the initialization. After that uh, after that uh, I will uh, uh, I will uh, in uh, in the while loop uh, I will set. Uh, i will use io set register uh, will i will assign the value a what is there in the a in the a you can see here uh, this value is there this value in the a in this is in hexadecimal a this value will be there now after that what i will do is uh, i will call the delay and i will clear i will call the delay and clear that means led will glow first led will glow then i will clear after that one led will uh, maybe one led will glow after that i will left shift uh, this value of a so you need to write this in uh, uh, paper and you need to do the left shift uh, and uh, you will get that particular value and that value will be cross checked whether it has reached this value this one if it reached this one once again it is set to original and delay and it will repeat that means uh, it will glow one by one by one by one led all the eight leds will be when you uh, when you uh, uh, press the switch uh, that switch is connected to the interrupt uh, so that means uh, you are going to give the interrupt signal when you press the switch uh, all uh, the uh, one by one by one led will glow led will glow and after that uh, we either here one small definition for delay when you call delay you will pass certain value that value it will take and it will loop here to generate the delay so in this way this is the explanation for uh, a demonstration of uh, external interrupt uh, Uh, to toggle led on and off so uh, practical demonstration uh, uh, you will see along with this uh, this explanation 
Thank you. Now we will see the demonstration of a external interrupter that is how to use an external interrupter to toggle an LED on and off. So here we are using external interrupt and we will toggle the LED on or off. So for that uh, we have here LPC2148 controller which is based on ARM7 TDMI and we have LED uh, module. We have connected the LED module through FRC cable to the FRC1 connector and this is the external interrupter. When I press this external interrupter, this LED will glow uh, according to the pattern in which we have programmed. So let me show you the program here. This is the program. So this is the program to uh, for interfacing uh, LED module and th it works through external interrupter. So let me switch on Keel version 4 software. I have already added the program to the particular project and I have added startup.s also which is required. Let me compile this program. When you compile this program it shows zero errors and zero warnings. Let me build the program to create the XR file. So it is it has now created the XR file which is in the project directory. So let me use the software that is flash magic. In the flash magic I will browse the file. This is the file and uh, I will open the file and I will click on start button. When you click on start button, it will, it will transfer the file from this PC to the controller. So here I have external interrupt button. When I press this button, you can, you can observe it will uh, switch on the LED, particular LED which moves from left to right. You can see when I give the interrupt to the processor, it will switch on the LED in the particular pattern you can see. Either you can switch on single LED also. Here I have written the program which will switch on the LED uh, which, uh, which moves from left to right or right to left direction you can see. So in this way you can connect uh, LED module and uh, you can work by using external interrupt. Thank you.